Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. How you doing? I'm doing alright. Um, well, I'm in a, I don't know, semi-difficult position. I've, I've got a lot of weight on us. And um, this is after I've called, by the way. And this is after I've, like, done management on all of our stuff. I guess I could have dropped off this box. I went to the farm and came back. I don't know where I got this. I must have picked it up from a chest. Um, and we got some more stuff. Tempted to just throw away these barrels. We also got an ammo crate. I did, um, I did go and grab a cache. Hence why we have stuff. Like anything, I guess. Um, so we're gonna... We're gonna go check out this other cache over here. There's a couple of caches in um, army warehouses. This place is a lot creepier than I thought. Oh, I mean, also it's nighttime, but you know, never mind. Where is this thing? Is it above me? Oh God, it might be above me. There is a not 0% chance that this cache is above me and I have to do some tricky platforming. Why? Why would you do this stalker that hid this cache? All right, I'm I'm definitely getting the impression that this is correct. There was a um, there was a, a, a stash in a tree, not so long ago, and then uh, also I think in the last episode I had to do some tricky stuff. All right, so we got a drug making kit. Actually, there's a lot of really new nice stuff here. Barrel additional threaded canals fine tuning. Why? Where are our icons? We have no icons for any of these things. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they, they decided that they were a little bit, they were running late, you know, but they've, they turned up. Don't worry about it. Oh God, don't fall off the roof. Do not fall. Oh God. All right, we're fine. So that's nice. I mean, I would have ex uh, appreciated advanced tools, but that's okay. We got an unknown enemy. We got another stash. Um, we're already semi overweight. I kind of want to go and deliver this drug making kit before I continue, but um, the all senses lost my brain and apparently I'm gonna go and do some stuff. Um, could just sell this armor repair kit. I know the armor repair kits are, are like very good. They're worthwhile. Um, we have this metal food box. Let's open that. Can always do with more food. Food is almost all, oh. Did that... Act? No, okay. That didn't, like, magically create more weight. That would have been kind of dumb. Um, but we are, like, overweight now. It's because we have all of these upgrade kits. Uh, weapon mechanism kit, upgrade kit basic. Could probably sell that. I don't... Uh, like, I have to make an itemized checklist of, like, all of the stuff that I've got. Um, what, uh, what can we get rid of? We're not hungry, and I don't want to just, like, eat food for no reason, like, you know, in real life. Um, <laughs> uh, God, yeah, this is just a kind of a problem. And I don't want to go and, like, get open some more stashes. This, this stupid backpack situation I've put myself in is really dumb. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go and kill whatever that unknown enemy is do so let's let's use our night vision kit you know i went to some effort trouble and effort to make this night vision kit so let's use it um i did uh, this might disappoint you i was even like tempted to not say anything but I, you know i don't like to leave these things um you know unsaid i suppose i like to be transparent i did take a mission um in the last episode or after the last episode to kill a bloodsucker in the night um and uh it was like a, a very specific special night uh bloodsucker and it was like creating problems and and there was a, you know i was it was only coming out at night time so it was it was that was a cool mission and i was really looking forward to doing it um, the problem is, is like a lot of mutant hunting missions, the problem just kind of solved itself. So unfortunately, that quest is now no longer available to us. Sucks. 
I hate that I can't check my PDA without turning off my night vision. I mean, it makes sense. I'm not gonna... Oh, hello. Did you already loot this man? Yes, you did. But you didn't take his PDA, possibly the most valuable thing on him. Okay, we've got something um, ahead of us. I won't have to check our PDA again, hopefully. I do see a man. Is that our man? That is a... That is our man, maybe. Did I... Was that it? Nope. Man, he's tough. There we go. Was that the dude we had to kill? Unknown enemy? Monolith. Whoa, God, no! Um, that would be the thing that we had to kill? Okay. <gasps> just, just, just gotta, just gotta ask. You know, I, I just need to ask. Why didn't it kill the monolith guy? Okay. Let's try this again. I'm not honestly sure how I'm going to approach this. I mean, there's our monolith dude. Ah, there you are. Well, at least, uh, you know, at least I got my wish this time. I'm pretty sure that is a chimera. Nice. We didn't even have to waste bullets on the uh, monolith this time. That's gonna... We're probably gonna get a lot of weight from that thing. I saw a stalker shoot a chimera. That was a confirmed a chimera. Where is it? Yo, where is it though? Oh, is it, I, I walked right past it. Oops. So what kind of chimera is it? Apparently there's a, quite a few of these um, things. Lots of different types. We got two chimera claws. That's actually awful. Awful yield on that chimera. That sucks. But that's okay. There's a monolith over here we can loot. The monolith have really good stuff. He's got this, oh, a scar. These are like auto, auto uh, snipers, auto rifles. These things are supposed to be really good. Uh, 76251, okay. Um, so this uses a pretty expensive ammo type, but I think it would be worth taking this. Um, unfortunately, we are very over encumbered, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. We'll have to, I might do a pause and uh, just to figure out um, our, Inventory sitch. Is that synthetic clock? Yeah! Two, there's two synthetic cloth. He has some freedom patches as well. He has some really good stuff, and that kind of sucks, because I am going to have to really figure things out here. I'm going to do a pause, unless something wild happens. You know, we'll, we'll just do some inventory management. Okay, so unfortunately I had to kill the Chimera again. <laughs> uh, because I... Oh, I don't, I don't even know how to explain this. 
I went, I fast traveled back to, um, the, the army warehouse freedom, like base. And, um, I was basically stuck. Like I couldn't move because I had too much stuff. So I was like, okay, well I'll just drop this one little crate. And it was my ammo crate. Cause it was 14 kilograms. This thing is 14 kilograms. And, um, and I, I went and like, you know, dumped a bunch of stuff off in a stash and came back and the crate was gone in like a matter of like a minute. So, um, I was like, Oh, well that sucks. Uh, I'll just load. And I, my last load was before I killed the chimera. Okay. What the hell did I just walk into? Oh God. Oh Jesus. I hate all of this. I thought I was delivering a package. Turns out I'm, I'm in fact, I, I don't know what I'm doing here to be honest. I, I have no idea what, what I'm doing here. Oh God, my vision. Is there supposed to be somewhere, someone in here? I can't tell if that guy is shooting at me. I think he is. Oh God. Well, this is awful. Why did I do this? I wanted to deliver the package, honestly. I don't know what or who is shooting at us. I wish they would stop though. Uh, so apparently I can get in. Oh god, there's like something in there that's doing these psychic ghost attacks on us um, Meanwhile, I'm pretty sure I have to enter there in order to deliver our package Basically everything sucks right now We're gonna go uh, flashlight for the time being Never mind There's an anomaly like right next to me, but I can't really see it too good can't see anything too good. You know what? I think I need to do another load. This is not this is not the way. This is not what we're doing. <laughs> I can't believe I just like spawned right in front of a murmur or whatever they're called. Um those those nasty little gremlins. That's that's a lot. Oh god. So it saved when I fast traveled in. Okay, I didn't know he was like charging up an attack when he did that This is this sucks Can I get in here Maybe Okay, I have to wait till my What am I hearing? <sighs> oh god, I just realized I'm like right next to a freaking moss oh, I hate that So our, our fast travel has loaded it. It has it saved us into like the worst situation ever. I hate to think what my last quick save is doing. Oh, I hate that. Stop it. I 
And I have no bandages left. What is our last uh, quick save? I have no idea where th what that is. Let's let's hope it's good. Okay. Where are we? I'm I think I think I'm okay. I think this is the last one I did before I lo I loaded or I um tried to fast travel. This is such a dumb position to be in. Deliver locked case to skin flint has a delivery that needs to be picked up. So I'm pretty sure I have to pick something up from there, not drop something off. A little bit confusing. Um, we have to push back the monolith incursion. That's going to be a nightmare. I'm not sure why I took that mission, to be honest. All right. Why, why is the visual effect on the night vision like broken right now? I need that to not be the case. Oh, it's because there's a size storm. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh my God. This game has it out for me right now. Okay, I, uh, we're going to load. I, I, I am so actually upset right now. Okay, let's see. Um, let's fast travel now to Freedom Base. Okay, now we should be okay for the time being. Let's hope that nothing uh, takes our freaking stash of stuff. What an awful, awful nightmare this is right now. So, um, we can just sleep. Honestly, I, I would rather just sleep for the time being because, like, I keep uh, wandering around at nighttime just seems like a bad idea. Uh, we can take some job boar fangs. Nah. I don't like gathering mutant parts for people. Duty faction patch. I don't think I have enough of those. I do have a couple. Yeah, we have six. He wants nine, so that's not enough. What about you, buddy? What do you got? Smoked salmon. You want smoked salmon? The dude wants some smoked salmon and locks. Honestly, do not blame him. I do not blame him. Let's, uh, let's sleep for like six hours. Uh, I'm surprised to see it did not... It, it didn't tell me that, um, there was an omission. That is odd. Hey, bud, can you give me medical assistance? Uh, yeah, 2,000, that's fine. This is characters solid, okay. Solid uh, is, is helping me out here. All right, we're going to eat some food. We'll eat some mutant food. When did I make a non... Oh, I guess I picked up some, like, toxic fruit, food from the monolith. I can hear the sound of a lurker. Seems like trouble. Fat bacon. And fat bacon is moderately toxic too, so I don't think I'm going to end up using that. So I'm not sure what I, what to do right now. We have this, like, ammo crate. I kind of just want to, like, go to the uh, farm and dump it. Because it's it's only trouble. Like, it's it's 14 kilograms I'm just carrying around right now. And it's it's just not, not a good time. Um... While we're at it, let's, uh, I did use up quite a lot of bullets. Unfortunately, used up a lot more bullets on my second attempt at the Chimera. Um, I think I have a trait point pending, though, is the, is the one nice thing, you know? Okay, we're gonna go north. Probably gonna, I'm gonna have a look at that other stash. I don't know why. It's because, you know what, like, may, like while we're, you know, having weight problems, I may as well just, like, gather up everything and then um, dump them all in one crate. If you're wondering what we're doing, by the way, like, what what is the plan right now? Um, we're just trying to, like, s you know, spend time, uh, basically, like, we're buying time. We're, we're, we're sandboxing until... Um, until I get my helmet. It's yeah, I'm, I'm just waiting for my helmet so that I can I'm able to travel around in brain scorcher territory, which 
to be honest, I don't know if that's a great idea. Like, I, I feel woefully unprepared in some ways. So what do we have here? We've got another ammo crate. Are you kidding me though, dude? Um, can I even take this stuff now? This tourist jacket is probably not that good for us. But it's we probably will get some cloth. Synthetic cloth from it, so that's nice. We did get some synthetic cloth from it. Solid. Only one. Um, this is these are actually some decent parts. Yeah, I know. I, I understand like it's probably really annoying seeing me like pick up stuff when I already have too much stuff. Um, so we're carrying around the scar, we're carrying around stuff. Probably what I should do um, is, and I'd be open to doing this, is just like deal with the situation. Like the situation is not good right now. Um, I'll make a couple of trips back and forward towards the farm, dump a bunch of stuff off. Is that, uh, I, I have a funny feeling that this, this is going to trigger, like, a, a, a mission. I'm going to do a quick save. If it does, I wouldn't mind doing it. I mean, we, we only need to stay in one spot and shoot some monolith, right? The problem is, the problem I foresee, though, is that, um, then I'm going to want to do looting. <laughs> and we, we we don't need any more stuff. So I'm going to deal, I'm going to do an, uh, one more pause and deal with all of the stuff we've got because it's just like, it's just a problem right now. And uh, I'll, f I'll find a way, I'm, I'm going to dump everything off at the farm. Um, and then we can do some more actual like fun, you know, gameplay stuff. All right, see you soon. All right, I'm just going to capture this on cam so that I don't have to, uh, just, just because, um, but I, I'm going to do another pause after this. I'm finally able to upgrade uh, my backpack, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I will hopefully never have to mess with our backpack again after this. But we got our our synthetic sheets. There was, by the way, a skirmish here. There was a bunch of bandits waiting for me here, which was nice. By which I mean awful, but uh, you know, either way, I need to drop something. It's because I'm uh, messing with my backpack right now. And then we're going to use our workshop and we're going to upgrade our backpack with the only suit. Oh, we, oh, we can do all three. Oh, thank God. That's so good. So that's going to give us, um, what is this now? 15 kilograms, 10 kilograms and five kilograms. So this, is that 30? Uh, 15 at 20. Yeah. 30 extra kilograms. So we're we're good. We're done. I don't ever have to touch this backpack again. It's going to give us the most space and I will never hopefully have to deal with inventory um, encumbrance again, at least like, you know, within reason. We've got this improved titanium that adds another 14 kilograms on there and that's going to total give us a total of what I'm actually really excited to see this. A hundred and sixty kilograms. Yo, he's done it. I I am so happy about that. I don't. I'm not gonna have to worry about about weight for a very long time. We can pretty much pick up everything, including like extra guns and stuff. And I probably will never have to worry. So that is fantastic. I'm going to do a bit more maintenance here. So I'll, I'll do another pause and, uh, and then we'll go and do some actual shooting. I'll see you soon. All right. Well, you know, I love this game. Um, but sometimes, sometimes I truly, uh, I truly wonder about it, but, uh, yeah. Uh, both our friends are dead and I'm, I, I'm this is canon. I'm, I'm keeping it this way Why um, well, let me explain um, While I was uh, buying stuff from the store um, a An emission happened and while the, an emission happened we were also attacked by bandits at the same time and uh, both these freaking dudes 
decided to go and fight the bandits out in the emission and um yeah so they're dead now um why am i like why am i keeping why why, why am i keeping this cannon well um because my last save was before i did all of my inventory management and i'm just very tired <laughs> okay i'm just i'm just very exhausted with having to do this stuff this is a really nice gun and this is a very nice gun um kind of want to keep all of this and like repair all of it and not uh just scrap it i've been told that um tearing down exoskeleton frames are actually is actually a very good idea uh we can sell the battery and there's a bandit here somewhere Probably in here. But yeah, I'm going to be wandering uh, alone in the zone for a little while. It sucks. I, I liked having friends. But, um... You know, I won't miss freaking mech du dudes, like, you know, like, all the time. I will not miss that. Um... I, I, you know, like there's a, there's a few things I will not miss, but I will definitely miss having friends. Uh, they were, they were really good. Um, they were good, good to me, good, good for me. Um, and, uh, you know, it really sucks, honestly, that, uh, this is, this is the state that we're in. So this SKS Malut works with, uh, FMJ762. And I those the seven, we have 182 uh, 762 39 that I pulled out of both those crates. I, I pulled out, um, I unlocked both of the um, ammo crates, and we had just an ungodly amount of of 762 39. So I actually, I feel like I should not disassemble that, and instead keep it for like the first weapon that you know actually uses it. Because if you have a surplus of one type of ammo, then you should use it rather than like keeping it it's good to disassemble scraps but we're no longer in scrap territory when you're talking about like 230 we're talking about like legitimate and we have two mags for the sks Molot. the sks Molot is a decent weapon it's got pretty good uh damage um it is slightly better than our l85 i think i kind of go by base cost if, if if the base cost of a weapon is higher then I assume that at the very least you can upgrade it to be better. We also have this MP5A3. Um, this thing uses 9mm, which we have tons of, I think. It uses 9mm, 919. Okay, we don't actually have a lot of 919, do we? Yeah, we do. We have a ton of 919. We can make more. 919 is pretty uh, cheap stuff. What is this 918 that I've... I've, I've got a bunch of why do i have a ton of 918 and why am i carrying it why in the world is that the case well uh we're gonna we're gonna disassemble that i'm also gonna mark it as junk so um yeah i don't know i like i've got a couple of decisions to make here because i've also got the sears scar this is this uses 76251 which we do not have a lot of we do not have a lot of 762 um uh, you know, the 5051. 50, so uh, I do have a couple of magazines for it. I did repair it, um, mostly. Like, I at least put some stuff in it uh, that, uh, you know, I, I, I gave it some, some new components. So, you know, that's something. Um, we also have this G3A3. This is a 72,000 ruble base cost. So I have, I have to assume this is pretty good. And it looks pretty good, but again, it uses the 762.51 that, uh, you know, it's not necessarily easy to come by. Um, this DVL Saboteur, I think I uh, kept that with the intention of selling it. Like, I was going to um, basically upgrade it or repair it and then sell it. I should um, strip this ADAR carbine at some point. I'm pretty sure it still has, like, upgrades and stuff on it that uh, I'm not using. So I don't know. Um, I'm tempted to do to go with this SKS Malot. Um, here's the thing, though. How many think? Okay, so these these magazines only carry 20 bullets each. 
I think at the end of the day, I'd still rather use my L85, at least for now. I mean, it doesn't hurt to use it because it's using 556.45, right? Like, that is incompatible ammo, uh, and it doesn't matter. This uh, this shotgun may be better. 37,000 versus 40,000. Okay, so this shotgun is not better. It does do more damage. 460 versus 470. Why does it say that it does more? It doesn't really do more, but it does carry more ammo. Um, I'm not sure if this requires a magazine. I don't know if it does. It says customize. It, it takes no attachments, so I don't know. Let's uh, let's just give it a look over. So it does have a very basic um, scope. I don't know. I don't know. I think I honestly I think I'd rather just disassemble it. It's an interesting looking weapon, but I don't think it's as good as what we've got now. And um maybe I'm wrong. It does carry more ma uh more bullets, and that's always nice. Um Okay, so I'm just trying to like I I'm don't worry, like we're, we're almost done here. I'm just gonna honestly throw these mags in um, in here. These are only mags that I can use. I don't know why I kept this magazine. I also don't know why I kept it in here. We have a 762.25 drum. There's a 50, uh, seven. What was this? 762.51 mag for what exactly? I don't know. Uh, th there's a, there's a lot of management in this game. So this helmet, uh, that came from Mech Dude, it looks really good. It doesn't have very good ballistics, which I tend to prefer because, um, you know, I, I take bullets more often than not, but this thing does have very good chemical and radiation resistance. Not so good psychic resistance, which I think is unfortunate. Um, in fact, their current helmet is actually better, but I think it might be worth keeping this on the off chance that there's a, you know, a place that we could go, that we need to get to. Um, all right, let's consolidate. I'm, I'm just about done here. I might buy some more stuff. Oh, I guess I, I need to um, disassemble this exosuit thing. We got metallic scrap and fasteners. It looks like you don't really get anything special from it. Probably it would have been better. I would have been better off keeping it to be honest um, Oh, yeah, and then we have this machine gun that uses nine mil Which is interesting We well, got a ton of stuff from that uh, gun I am interested in this I Don't know what I would use it in replacement of like it may be the shotgun I don't know. I do not know. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I'm going to just dump all of our stuff here. We're going to sell this battery. Probably I, I should keep these batteries. Like eventually I am going to want to use an exosuit. I know there's I know exosuits are a whole thing. They are kind of a pain in the ass. Did I put my lock pick uh, pick lock in there? I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, and now it's been shuffled. Why why do you gotta shuffle? There we go. Every day I'm shuffling. Alright, let's let me just um sell some more garbage and then we're good to go. It's been a lot of this this has been a really frustrating episode, I gotta say. Anomaly map of Jupiter. Anomaly map of red forest. These things take up basically no space. Actually, they take up one uh, 0 0.1 kilogram That's way more than I thought it would be. We'll sell that. We'll sell the battery Um, I do need more water I am semi running out of water By the way, I did sell um, this guy gunsmithing tools and I'm pretty sure that did Increase like the amount of like bullet stuff that he offers is so he now does offer um, Casings which is they're really affordable actually like buying stuff to make bullets 
is way more affordable than buying bullets themselves which makes sense you know that just that just does make sense um so you know at a certain point it is cheaper just to like buy the parts to make bullets but it's it is a pain in the butt because like then you are spending a lot of time making bullets and unfortunately the crafting system in this game though i like the system itself uh i do find it to be kind of laborious um when it comes to actually the actual crafting part because you get like 15 bullets and then you have to wait for like a good 10 seconds and then and then you have you know then you go back in and you make 15 more bullets and it's a lot I'm going to throw our drug making kit in there and I'm going to throw that gun in there and maybe at some point I'll use either of those. Who knows? I don't. Um, we do need more fuel. All right, that's the last thing I'm going to do. I swear to God. We're going to make some pseudo do uh, dog chops and then I'm going to buy some fuel. God, I, uh, I am going to miss our friends. They were really, really good. They were really helpful. Um... You got, you have fuel, right? Okay. Buying fuel. Now we shall leave. I'm leaving with uh, considerably less money than when I arrived, which is, uh, you know, curious. We have these monolith prayers. These offer uh, some kind of bonus. I did uh, buy some more bandages. Are there any more bandages we can buy here? No, not really. Okay. I wonder... It would be nice if this guy, um, like, would sell me better medical supplies if I gave him the drug-making kit. I'm tempted to give the dr drug-making kit to the guy in um, Rostock. Recover the detector prototype. Find the protect... Oh, okay, we may as well, you know... Check that box. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been kind of a frustrating episode. We lost our friends. I can't believe it. To something so stupid, you know? And, it, like, I know it's, like, partially laziness. Like, they just, they're just gonna, you know, pride kills a man. It literally killed two men here. Because, like, I just have, you know, I, I am obstinate in not wanting to load and redo like a good 20 minutes of inventory management to something so stupid like i just i just hate that like i wish they were just smarter just like slightly smarter there's only one or two things that can actually kill them um i guess in a way you could consider them to be overpowered but in a way i almost wish that they would die more easily in combat um if it meant that they were a bit more intelligent when it came to the really easy stuff. And when I say the easy stuff, all I really mean is don't freaking walk outside when there's an emission. Like, dude, why? Why are you doing that? So stupid. Okay. Um, I don't know which way. We're going south. Hello. Hello, child. What is up? What is up, my dude? What's up? Okay, you wanna you wanna sit down? You want food? I know you do. Uh, we are very slowly running out of water. Oof. There's a lot of stuff here. Well, I never said no to a free meal before, and I'm not going to start now. What is this? Prototype detector. Encased in reinforced container. According to the scientists, this is a brand new detector prototype designed to change the world of artifact hunting. Unfortunately, none of the graphs and numbers make any sense to you. All right. I wonder if this mission would actually lead us to any kind of like discovery like we we get a new detector or something or maybe they can make an upgrade on our detector probably not i again i would really like to figure out this whole artifact um transmutation business it sounds interesting 
Um, but I, I have I don't have the foggiest clue how it works. So we'll just have to leave it. Wow, lots of free free food right now. Which is good, because I just spent some food fast traveling here. Um, let's see, we've got kill the stalker. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's that stupid bandit base, and I don't even have friends to help me this time. Yeah, nuts to that. We're not doing that. Alright, let's go to... Well, where are we handing in some of these quests? Where am I delivering this? Um, I have the opportunity to upgrade my equipment. I should use it. Great Swamp, west of the machine yard. Apparently, there's something good at that military base, but nuts to that as well. Yikes forever. Um, what do we got here? Push the monolith back. That would be actually kind of tempting. Like, that would be decent, because, um, you know obvious reasons really actually is it obvious the reason is because the monolith have excellent gear and uh pretty much everything i've picked up off of a monolith it has been like chef's kiss amazing um so doing like a pushback on monolith i mean it could go either way um, I, I, I think I infinitely prefer fighting them to the military because they don't get a free freaking helicopter. You'd think the monolith would have like a UFO or something uh, to help them, or like mutants. They just like uh, hit you with mutants. Because, yeah, I don't know. They're weird. Monoliths are strange. I, I, I'd like to know more about them. They're like one of the few, um, I don't know, factions that I... I I find kind of interesting uh, more so than on a, like a surface level. Okay, we're gonna go to. We are going to the wild territory. I guess I could have just traveled there, but last time I traveled there, very bad things happened. So let's. Uh, I wonder if that is going to replace it. it might replace it but we might have a quick save now um as i entered rostock and now we'll have another save uh as i enter um wild territory i haven't really spent all that much time in here but i mean in, at least in this episode i did spawn in and immediately saw a murmur and like 15 dudes and uh one of the the, the ghost um spawning creatures are you a good guy? I mean, I have to assume you are. You look like duty. That's, I, I don't mean like doo-doo. I mean like you guys look like duty. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a quick save here. Oh. Okay, good. Pretty sure that was it. Little little tiny skirmish, nothing nothing we can't handle. Got some more goodies to collect. I do love me some goodies. Renegade. Oh, I love seeing these uh, decorated jewel boxes. They're actually worth quite a uh, quite a nice chunk of change This place is kind of dicey. Oh my god. Oh No, he was military. What is this? He's carrying almost 40 kilograms of stuff. Okay We'll, we'll just take all that I guess I have a lot of um, dog food to purify. Um, our head's not doing too good. I should really use some surgical tools and repair repair our head because it's not good. And your head doesn't really get better unless you do some surgery on it. Um, do we have enough bandages? We do kind of have some, enough bandages. Let's let's get this done. 
Actually, maybe we could use some of these. Golden Star Vlam. Pair item lubrication imported. Rupture resistance. I'm not sure how, what this does for us. I've, I've been kind of saving those. Wow, that doesn't actually help our head as much as I thought it did. Also, we do have um, a trait to use. I've been kind of tempted on this bullet hoarder for quite a long time. Take 25% less damage from controller's psi attacks. Uh, that is really tempting. Lock difficulty on loot, bo uh, loot boxes is reduced. This would actually save us quite a lot of money. You found the cure for bullet holes. When using a medical item, you gain 10%, plus 10% of the total health. Well, that seems like it would be very good right now, actually. Um, yeah. I feel like, I feel like we should do that. That just seems like it's like highly relevant to our needs and wishes all of the time. Um, okay. These, uh, this uses up a, a bandage like every time I do it, by the way. So this is quite expensive. But if you don't know what I'm doing, basically the head bar in our health bar is like, was quite low. Um, all right, I'm gonna be cool with the, that last little bit of health being, uh, damaged because I only have the one bandage left now. Bandages are pretty easy to come by, but all the same, I, 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 you need to have at least one because you can, you can die of bleeding out. We do have some anti-bleeding out medicine, which I didn't think was a thing, but apparently it is a thing. Man, I, I hate that I'm uh, by myself again. I've I've had some friends with me for a long time. It's always been two. I've always had I've had two friends with me for a long time. And now I'm alone. And that just sucks. I hate that. Wild territory is quite the place. Ouch. Now we are bleeding. I cannot see who's shooting at us. Can't, can't see who's shooting at us. All right, I'm, I'm going to die. Yep, there it is. Well, let's uh, load that one. Okay. Um, kind of wish I could get in here. Maybe if we can, maybe we can like climb on top of this thing. Oh God. Oh, cool. A uh, sharpening stone. Well, not a sharpening stone. There's, um, I forget what they're called, but they are really good for, they, they offer a really nice repair bonus. There's a lot of these boxes. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. I don't, I don't like this at all. We do have to kind of go over there. There's like a bunch of stuff we need. Our dude is exhausted. Let's um, let's drink an energy drink. Oh wow, I kind of blew through these energy drinks, didn't I? We're gonna get a little bit closer. And I should be able to, um, take them out one by one. Okay, one down. I don't hear too many. 
I don't hear any, in fact. I do hear one. Okay. Good, good. I love when they make that sound. <laughs> like Principal Skinner listening to the children blink. I love that sound. Not hearing anyone else. Uh, mercenaries. Kind of love, uh, I mean, I didn't mean to make enemies to the mercenaries, but here we are. Oof. You got no scopes, dude. Actually, that's a lie. I totally scoped him. But, it was a good, it was a good scope. Got some good stuff. I'm just, you notice I'm just like picking up everything now. And we're not even close to uh, burning through our, our space. What is this? Oh, L85A2. This is also an L85A2, but this is an alternate. Alternate, sorry. Uh, that's 50,000 and then this is 55,000. Oh my goodness, that difference. Um, well, we'll take it for now. Anything in here? Nope. All right, so now that we've taken care of these lads, these these guys were really causing me a problem. Um, we'll go and see if we can't um, solve or you know get get our the the box that we need to get for Skinflint. I think his name is. Did not mean to do that, but that's okay. We didn't take too too much damage. I don't know how to get inside this place. There's only like one entrance and it's boarded up. So how do we get in? Maybe you have to get up on the roof. Uh I could see I could see this being a thing we have to do. Wild territory is quite creepy. It's it's a lot more quiet for being, you know, called the wild territory. Can I move this barrel? I can move this barrel. The reason I ask is because I noticed that I could shoot this thing down. Right? Oh my god. So maybe I can get in that window. Can't really pick this up. This is jank is all heck, bud. All right, nice. Um. No, oh, you see, you're supposed to support my weight, actually. I, 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 this will work, I believe. <laughs> Come on! Yes! No! I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, well, there, there we go. Oh, I just have to wait for my endurance to come back. I got tons of radiation right now. God damn it. Come on, come on. I don't think I can get in through here. How do we get in this building? This is being annoying now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a pause just to f figure this out. Uh, 
Uh, well, we can go up this ladder. Let's let's try this. We should be able to get on the roof from here. Okay, that that looks a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. Okay, we can go across this pipe. This is this this seems a bit more intended, except for the part where I fell off the roof because they had to put a guardrail around the side of it. God damn. <laughs> Okay, this is gonna, a tricky jump, but I, I can make it. Yo, you, you, you have, calm, I, I hate this. I, I hate every part of this, actually. Why did you put, why did they have to put a guardrail here so that I couldn't get up on the roof easily? And, and I keep falling down. I, I am starting to lose my patience with this, I gotta say. And it doesn't help that I lost my friends to stupidity. I gotta do deal with this stupidity now. Okay. I just gonna get we're gonna we're gonna half-life two source engine our way onto the, the fact that I lose endurance every time I jump is also making this like it, it this is the thing, you know, like I know that uh, realism is like a, a, a big part of this, but this isn't re even realistic because I could very easily in real life climb up on this roof, right? This is just jank. Okay, there we go. Oh my God. I'm gonna swear to God. And like once we get in here, uh, what I'm a little bit concerned about is like, how are we getting out? Okay. Nice, dude. Nice. I didn't realize there was a giant pit in there. Oh my god, dude. What is that sound? Oh, come on. I'm not going to save. Oh God. Jesus Christ, everything about this place sucks right now. Why, why do we have creepy ghosts? Can we get rid of these? If only I could open this door. Well, this is something. I don't know what, what I just picked up, but it, it's something. What is this? Wind of Freedom. Uh, fully repaired, this thing offers a, quite a bit of chemical resistance. It's not that great, though, I gotta say. But, you know, uh, interesting. Now, the problem is, is that there's these stupid moss things everywhere. And I'm going to have to go through at least one more of these things. Uh, this is, this is beginning to feel not worth it. I don't know if maybe these are, like, what, what kind of damage are these doing? Maybe, maybe I would be better off actually wearing this right now. What does this offer? Chemical resistance and impact resistance. Let's try wearing it. Most stalkers will assume I'm part of the freedom community. I'm just wondering if, like, maybe if this is chemical damage I'm taking, I could just... Yeah, that actually seemed to work. Uh, 
Okay, it was actually what? What is what is happening right now? I thought maybe it was in the toilet But it was not and I, I, I can't like This doesn't make any sense to me right now I, I can't I'm like I'm, I'm as close to where the thing is is as possible. I bet you it's on the roof It's gonna end up being on the freaking roof, isn't it? Ouch You know what I just realized it might be that running through it is what damages us Oh There it is there it is God damn I don't know what this whispering is. Did we actually reach our cap? My god, dude. We found a locked case. Um, we have a army weapon crate. Probably we'll sell this. Exoskeleton frame. That's a lot of uh, weight. Um, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might just like... Pause. I, I might just like end the episode here and um, try and figure this out. Um, but I, I, I don't know, because like the thing is, is all I'm gonna do is like painstakingly go through all of our um, guns here. This like for for instance, this AR-15 looks really really cool. Um, 33 damage, 800 RPM, decent mag size. Like, is this thing better than what we're currently using? That's what I'm going to be doing. We have an, an, another M4A1. I do like the M4A1, but uh, we've already got one. I'm not sure if maybe um, I should use an M4A1 because they have the um, grenade launcher, which I like a lot. So these are all compatible, which means that we just got a ton of compatible ammo, which is just wonderful. I love that for me. We got an MP5. I believe this is the ump. Which I love. I love I love the ump. My my dogs, you might hear them in the background, are uh, bugging me for food. Um, I don't think I'm going to upgrade to the L85A2 non-alternate. So I'm going to go ahead and disassemble that. I, some of this stuff I could probably sell for a pretty penny. I have no question. AK-74. We don't need an AK-74. I'll go ahead and disassemble that. I don't know what this whispering is. It's really annoying, actually. Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna uh, end the episode. I'm, I'm going to deal with this weight problem, and then we're going to get out of here. Look at all the food I've got. Probably I could cook some of it up. I don't have enough stuff to, like, purify all of it, unfortunately. Um, let's bandage up our leg, may as well. Oh, oh, never mind. I don't have any leg bandages. I, I need to go to a medic and, like, buy out their stock because I'm just, like, in constant need of stuff. I might, I could just drop all of these magazines. I'm not going to use the ump. I think if I use anything from here, it will probably be this AR-15. It seems kind of cool. Uh, it got tons and tons of attachment options. Um, so that is tempting. This PP-19 is interesting. It's got a suppressor. Um, and it uses 9mm. We can go ahead and disassemble all of these pistols. Maybe one of them is as good as what I'm using, but I don't care. I, I don't need my pistol to be, like, next level amazing. I, I did, um, the only pistol I have, like, saved for the purposes of maybe upgrading to is the Deagle. Because it's the Deagle, you know? It's the Deagle. You gotta, you gotta save the Deagle. Come on. Come on, right? Um, but, like... Other than that, I don't really... I don't think I, I need to upgrade. I can't believe in the same episode that I upgraded my backpack. And I was like, we don't need to worry about 
uh, you know wait ever again and now 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 we're in this situation where i'm literally staring down the the barrel of a freaking anomaly and uh oh wait a minute that's our glock magazine oh man wait a minute standard glock where's all of our glock magazines okay yeah that that is one of our glock magazines we have to add this to the loadout uh okay I am just gonna. I'm gonna grab all the ammo. I uh, I might drop some magazines. We're getting pretty close, ish. This AR-15 is quite heavy. Actually, if there's anything I probably should drop, it's this Wind of Freeman or from Wind of Freeman or uh, disassemble. I suppose it's really good condition though. Like I, I, you know, I could probably sell it for a nice chunk of change. So I hate like selling it. Or sorry, not selling it, uh, disassembling it. Um, and we've got all of these Stanag magazines, which is great because we have more 556. Might drop some mutant parts. Honestly, mutant parts are like worthless. I don't know why I'm bother bothering with it. We have fracture hands. I mean, those are probably worth something, maybe. We've got these uh, dog meat. I do like the dog meat. We can drop these uh, grenades or disassemble them. I mean, that is a little bit um, of weight. I refuse to drop anything like this army weapon crate. I mean, that's just like, that's like gold. They ain't no way I'm dropping that. You can't make me. You can't guilt me into it either. Oh, this exoskeleton suit actually has zero condition. So yeah, let's actually, that's that's an easy, easy disassemble. We'll get a bunch of stuff from it, but uh, we've just like saved like 12 kilograms. Um, all right, that's going to do it. So let's get it out of here. Let me test this theory. I was going to say, let's test this theory of... Uh, whether or not like walking through the moss is easier or like kinder to our health than running through it. It might be that running through it is what does all of the damage, but um, considering I just like basically crawled through it. I know there's a, there's like a trick f for all creatures and anomalies in this game. Like they all have some kind of trick. Um, like for instance, the poltergeist, you can just like wait. Uh, <sighs> You gotta be kidding me. Did I, did I literally save as I died? I swear to God. I swear to God. If, if that's the case, I don't know when our last quick save is. Yeah. Well, okay, we're, it's, it's actually not bad. Apparently our last quick save is like in the building at the very least. I don't know when it is, but it's not me dead. So <laughs> I won't lie. I'm, I'm kind of losing my patience a little bit. All right. This is not a bad place to be where it's, it, it kind of sucks, but it's not too bad. All right, so you know what? Um, I, I I am gonna break the episode here. I'm sorry. I know that I said I wasn't going to, but like the, I, you're about to watch me do literally everything I just did again. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, um, please please consider hitting the like button and uh, you know pray for me. Um, apparently, I'm taking on radiation. Maybe that's why I'm dying. Um, but, uh, yeah, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one.